Hi, welcome to Schmerchik Tipsy Tarot, where you will experience all the unpleasantness that comes with me. So allegedly, there's a guy named Brian Colbert, Kohlberger, and um, <clears throat> the question is, is he innocent or guilty? We're going to find out the storyline, what went on with him, you know, is he guilty? Did he do this alone? Did he have any accomplices? Did he... Like, what's his story, you know? So we're going to do a little deep dive. You guys can watch this fast piece if you want. <clears throat> I just thought it would be interesting to see what the spirits have to say. So we'll mix the cards. The universe needs some spirit guys. Please step forward and answer us. Who is Brian? Who is Brian Koberger? Who is this guy? What is he? We're just going to ask the first question. Who is he? What is he? <clears throat> we'll go from there. Right? So I'm pulling a bunch of different cards. And we'll start from there. Okay. He's a user. He's a user. That's what I'm getting from these cards. Unsatisfied with his life. All right. Let's pull the other cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tell me about Brian. Tell me about Brian Koberger. Tell me about him. Mm. Sexual perversions. 28. The man. The Norman. Stork. So he's a guy that is um, might have some sort of sexual problems. The son. Let's see. I'm going to pull other cards. I'm going to pull these cards. Tell me who is Brian Kohlberger. I wish I could show you all the cards, but I don't have a camera that can do that. <clears throat> who is this Brian Kohlberger? Tell us about him. Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we have the tower. We have... Knight of Cups of Front, Upright. <clears throat> so, Knight of Cup of Upright. I usually read from my book just to be 100% certain. Um, it talks about somebody who has a lot of love in their heart. Um, he, he was destined to be successful, I think. A lot of people love this guy. He probably has health issues with his feet. Um... Some problems with malnutrition, I'm guessing. He has some sort of issues with, he's not really, like when somebody's not getting the nutrition they need, they can, act, they can lose their mind, you know. Um, <clears throat> now we have Six of Pentacles Reverse, which talks about um, taking advantage of something. Um, trying to dominate and control something. Nothing he does is for just to be a good person. Everything is strings attached. You know, he's, he's ready to exploit anybody or, you know, people have exploited him, used him. Um, he, and he doesn't, if somebody wants to give him help, he doesn't want help. Um, he has some sort of, he might be in debt for some reason. We have Nine of Cups Reverse, which talks about being unsatisfied in his life, unhappy, not happy where he was. Um, he is very envious of people. He has a lot of um, jealousy. Um, <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles, yeah. He's overindulgent. He's a bit superficial. He's not a, a deep thinker. We have the moon here, which talks about um, mysteries, rep repetitive patterns, um, things hidden, secrets, perhaps lying and doing something behind someone's back, perhaps a backstabber. The moon... So the question is, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not, I'm a little bit sick. Confusion, yeah. Unfestered, intention, focus on yourself, patterns. Yeah, he has this um, severity within him, in his personality. He has this um, obsessive type of repetitive behaviors. <clears throat> yeah. Something hidden. 
Yeah, so the moon is Pluto, which means like death and rebirth. So he might have that. I think it's uh, one second, the moon. We have been secrets, mysteries. Is it Pluto? No, it's not Pluto. Um, yeah, so it talks about repetitive cycles, secrets. Um, he has, he was probably in the middle of doing something new, Ace of Wands. He had found some sort of new passion, some sort of new, um, new beginnings he felt like he had. Ace of Wands, some sort of new beginning. <clears throat> he was very sexual, very horny. He's very a horny type of guy. Um, he feels like now is is the starting point in his life for some reason, or he felt that way. Um, he's like kind of like the holistic type of guy. <clears throat> And, um, okay, so let's see. Can you please explain Six of Pentacles? I'm going to pull more cards for Six of Pentacles reversed. Can you tell me about his debt, about who's exploiting him, who's using him, who he's using? Um, tell me about what's he jealous of, who's he jealous of? Um, <clears throat> I hate that I don't have a bigger table. Let's see. Let's see what the cards have to say. Ten of Pentacles. It talks about money, success, inheritance. And what does this inheritance have to do with being used and in debt? Eight of Pentacles, working with your hands, working hard for something, and addictions. So he has some sort of unhealthy addictions. It could be he might have had drugs or alcohol problems. He's like a bit, um, he could be a bit delusional in his head, in his mind. Um, Ten of Pentacles, upright, Eight of Pentacles. It talks about, um, Ten of Pentacles talks about universal success, money, happy home family. Um, <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles, it talks about working hard towards something. But I feel like, like he has that, he had that all ahead of him, or, but he, he's, um, what's stopping him is his delusions. <clears throat> okay, let's see, what does Alan Norman say? 28. Male personality uh, symbolizes spirit with persistence. Stork, 17. Is a stork a positive card? Loyalty principles, traditions, relationship, or creating coziness. May suggest a desire to have a baby. 28. The man, relationship spread. It indicates a responsible partner who keeps everything under control. He could have been that guy, you know, he could have been that guy if he didn't do all these murders. If he is innocent, he still has it in him to have persisted and, and been successful in creating family, having a baby. Um, he has it in him, but he, he is very, um, he likes control. Um, he might have um, sexual disorders, sexual disorders, 17, let's see, uh, this card can predict moving to a new level, successful business trip, international partnerships, profitable transactions. He might have been doing business with some people. Um, <clears throat> he had a promising life ahead of him, he seems to say, you know. Um, but he might have had um, issues with fertility, you know. A lot of times when guys, they are or women, or like if they have a deficit, you know, if they have problems with fertility or um, they have trouble like like sexual disorder, which, you know, 28 said he might have sexual disorders. His sexual disorder could also be, mean he's infertile, you know, and he has this desire to have children, but he can't. I guess that has, that connects with him being um, envious, jealous of other people and um, using other people I feel like he's in prob probably, it talks about using other people, exploitation, something with business, something with money, something with his work. I don't know if he had a job or what, but I don't know much about this guy, but it seems like he wasn't very honest in his work, you know? Either he was being used by somebody or somebody was using him. 
Um, then we have 31. <clears throat> 31, yeah. Energy, happiness, luck, positivity, health, stable earnings. He, he wanted to, or he wants to climb the corporate ladder. Um, promises excellent, excellent health. The other cards seem to talk about like, like malnutrition, you know, him having trouble with uh, his nutrition that could make him, that could drive somebody to insanity. Not to say that he is insane, but, <clears throat> you know, the mind can, if the mind is not getting enough nutrition, then they could become crazy, like seven of cups, have unhealthy addictions. And I, I feel like his infertility, if he has that problem, might be connected with his malnutrition. Um, relationship spread, warm-hearted connections, full of mutual understandings, a mature partner who knows how to truly love and appreciate without selfishness and hypocrisy. So it talks about somebody who is mature and able to be in a relationship, you know, but that's if he's innocent, you know what I mean? <clears throat> he's very charismatic in his, it says charisma. I read that he's not charismatic, so this could be false, you know. He has the ability to, to have charisma. Um, he has a lot of talents, and he comes across as somebody who is um, positive and promising and has good energy. Um, okay, so now we have, now we have, we have, I pulled the regular playing cards. Again, I don't know if he got someone pregnant or if he wanted kids. It talks about good news about something. For him, something with good news. So he got mess message from somebody. The question is who? Um, it, it talks about somebody who cares for his only his own interests, selfishness. He has um, quite the temper. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some sort of stranger in his life. Revo, backstabber, bad news, trouble. He causes trouble. Jack of spades. Some sort of messenger. Maybe bad news, be prepared. Yeah, it talks about bad news. He's a rebel. He's, um, he, he has like two personalities. You know, he can be really nice, but then he, he'll stab you in the back. <clears throat> I feel like it's talking about women. A woman on, that's fond of amusement. Young woman, daughter, flirty, kind woman, handshake, business agreement. I feel like this all ties into his business world somehow. It ties into, it's more complicated. It's not just, um, there's women involved, right? And we know three girls were murdered, right? <clears throat> Opposite, position, disappointment, timing, two weeks. Okay, so where we go from here? The question is, I'm going to ask them to explain Queen of, of, of Diamonds. Can you please explain Queen of Diamonds? What about Queen of Diamonds? What about this young flirty woman who loves amusement? <clears throat> so, so far are we finding out a bit about him and his life, his capabilities, who he could have been, who maybe he really is. Um, can you please tell us about this woman, this flirty woman? his life. I feel like this guy had a lot of potential if he's actually innocent, you know? He has a lot of potential. But um, oh, unhappy home. Broken family. Ten of cups reversed. Eight of pentacles reversed. That's so interesting. Ten of cups reversed, eight of pentacles. Because we have here Nine of Cups reversed when I asked about him, who he is. He has a lot of jealousy. And his family home life isn't that good. He, I guess he was with a woman who broke up with him. And that shattered his whole, all his dreams and his, it brought stress to the family. And then we have Eight of, of Pentacles reversed. It talks about him lacking skills. Nine of Pentacles, lacking skills. Knight of Pentacles talks about money. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles reversed. Laziness obsesses work. He was lazy. 
slow progress, perfectionism. He's too lazy to pursue anything. I think it, it ties back to his, um, it ties back him being lazy. It ties back to his health issues. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's all like, it ties into like his psychology and his physical health and his mental health, you know, and his work. Okay, now we're gonna get down to business and ask, did, did he kill these women and this guy? Did he kill them? And why did he do it? Is he guilty? Um, <clears throat> is he guilty of the of the crime that he is being accused of? Okay, let's do this. Next card. Is he guilty of the crime of murder? Shit. I'm on the wrong. Is he guilty of the crime of murder? I'm on the wrong channel. Who would ever know? <clears throat> Is he guilty of the crime of murder? Queen of Wands. Yeah, it has to do with a woman. A woman dominating him. Jealousy. Jealousy and heartbreak. Somebody broke his heart. Question is, did he kill them? Did he kill this woman, these women? Did, is he the one that's responsible for the murder of these four individuals? Three of Cups parties, burnt out. Page of Cups. Aha. Let's see. We have Queen of Wands, which talks about a very strong character, beautiful sexual women who are dominatrix style. We have Three of Swords Reverse, which talks about him, his heart being broken. Um, and this this is like number three, Three of Swords. I feel like those three women, he had something against those three women. I feel like the, the, the boy that was killed was just, sorry, it was just leverage. You know what I mean? It was leverage. It was not leverage. It was, um, you know, <clears throat> casualties of of war. You know, he had he he wanted to really get with those three girls, hurt those girls, who broke his heart. Nine of Cups, unsatisfied, unhappy. He's ungrateful. He's very jealous of. I guess that guy also made him jealous. Something to do with that guy. Page of Wands. Page of Wands reversed. Let's see, page wands. <clears throat> someone was causing, someone young, he was, someone was creating conflict. Who was it? It was at a party, a women's event. He had issues with the young women, at the young, with the women's events at these parties. You know, he had like trouble with these women. Three, three, yeah. He has something against three women. Four of Swords reversed. Felt burnt out. Four of Swords. Burnt out, stressed. Um, he was very stuck in his way of thinking. So we have the two pages, page of wands reversed, page of cups upright. That talks about um, new ideas, a new starting point. He felt like he had a chance with these women, I'm guessing. You know, these very sexual women. And um, it all ties into him, his immaturity, his emotional immaturity, and Page of Swords Reversed. It talks about somebody who's not happy within themselves, uncomfortable in their own skin. Um, <clears throat> something happened there, and either he's um, bisexual, you know, something happened there. Let's ask what happened. Page of Swords. Misunderstanding, malicious, deception, manipulation. He's very um, malicious. In general, he has a trouble talking, expressing himself. Um, so what happened? What happened? What happened in this fight? What happened in this fight? What? Uh, <coughs> 
what happened with these women? What's going on with his sexuality? Um, Wheel of Fortune, bad luck. He felt like he was bad luck. He had some bad luck with the women, I'm guessing. The hermit, he feels like he's been there, done that, and he was getting withdrawn into himself, and um, he felt lonely, and he was looking into himself, like, probably what's wrong with me, you know? Unhappy home, four of wands reversed, five of cups, rejection. Picking up the pieces, sadness. He felt complete rejection. <clears throat> Finding peace, oh, no sadness, picking up the pieces. He was really sad from the rejection of these people. Four of wands. Four of wands. He's having pro problems in his family life as well. Unhappy home. Can you please explain to me what exactly happened? What happened with these women in the sky? What happened? What happened with this woman and this guy? <clears throat> Whips, 11, 5, 17, stork. Again, I get a stork. What happened with these women? What happened with these women? What happened with these women? What happened with the boy? Why do you have to kill the boy? <clears throat> Let's see. Hate turned to fear. Love turned to hate. Mother nurse, woman, older woman, jealous relative. He has mommy issues. That's what I get from this. He wanted happiness, you know, he wanted a family, he wanted a baby, he wanted, he wanted kids. Um, love turned to hate, unfaithfulness, false hope, jealousy. We keep talking about jealousy. It talks about a relationship that can end in violence. Get help. Open door change. <clears throat> he was in love with those people, but then he couldn't have them, so... He killed them. Queen of of clubs. There's a woman. I feel like his mother probably has dark hair. Uh, somebody who's very career minded. Someone who's um has jealousy issues. Probably has some serious mommy issues. He talks about an older sarcastic woman. Very smart woman, you know. <clears throat> Illness, corpse, disease, buried hatchet. Is she still alive? Did she die? Shadow, storm, protection, ignorance, loss. Carl's bad temper. Yeah, fighting with fighting with people, fighting with friends. I feel like he'd been fighting with his mother as well. We have eleven, number eleven. Whips. Eleven. Let's see what that says. Communication has something to do with this communications, gossip, communication. Uh, tell us about a couple, for example, spouses or sisters, a bore. This card indicates doubts and uncertainties or disappointment. <clears throat> Talks about wrong choices. He has health issues. He keeps talking about health issues. Number five, the tree. Life, energy, force, health. You know, he had support um, with money, money-wise. I feel like he had um, support with his business, you know? Um, I think there was, like, some sort of family business. If he wanted to join, he could have. Brought about by healthy should well be will be brought about by healthy food and active lifestyle. I feel like he doesn't really have good health. Seventeen. Seventeen. Important life changes for better or for worse. 
I feel like he felt stuck in his, where he was, you know, stuck in his life. Like he didn't know what to do next, you know. <clears throat> he could have been very, I feel like his father was probably a very, um, he's a family man. He's, I think he's somebody who's like a caretaker. You think well values are in favor of creating coziness and may suggest desire to have a baby. He keeps talking about desire to have babies. And I feel like he might be infertile, and that's why he's so unhappy with himself. It's like um some sort of insecurity he has, feeling feelings of impotency, if that's even a word. The story promises changes for the better, positive outcome, healing infer healing from limitations of infertility or mobility. He could have, even if he was feeling stuck in his life, he could have gotten out of that by, you know, eating healthy and getting into some sort of exercise routine, you know, but I feel like he didn't feel good about himself, you know, within himself, about with all these things and plus being rejected by women, plus um, mental problems, you know, with um, his addictive delusional state of mind because of his his uh, unhealthy lifestyle like because he's malnutrition. Um, <clears throat> so the question is, what's the question we can ask? And he has mommy issues. The question is, let me ask, did he murder? Did he murder those those girls, those girls, those with the guy. Why did he, if he, if he killed the guy, did he kill the guy? What's that? Did he kill the boy living in the house? Was he the murderer of the boy? I mean, if he is the murderer of the boy, then he probably murdered the girls as well, right? So let's ask the same card, the Norman, the Norman, the rider, 29, the woman, 12, birds. That's interesting. Let me pull these cards here. I'm pulling spell casting cards. Did he murder the guy and the girls? Was he the one who murdered them? Was he the one who murdered them? Psychic abilities, new beginnings, trust. What does that have to do with anything? That's weird. Okay, let's see. Let's see what these cards say. Okay, number I. One. Number one. The writer. News, delivery, mail, communications. Hurry, very soon positive. <clears throat> 29, let's see. Let's see what this says. 29. Woman, female person, just represent a person, neutral. It's not really giving me an answer. 12. Sometimes the cards just don't want to give me an answer. 12. It talks about communication by phone or text, chatter, gossip, anxiety, restlessness, siblings, announcement, communicative, forthcoming, anxious, talkative, restless, loquacious, right now, neutral, an argument will be resolved. What does it have to do with anything? Then we have psychic abilities, new beginnings, and trust. What does it have to do with anything? That's my question. <clears throat> Psychic abilities. Psychic ability. What does it have to do with anything? Psychic P. Psychic ability is 108. One oh eight. Could it be that he has psychic abilities? And he was kind of like seeing things partly, um,
could be that he was seeing things and hearing voices in his head telling him to do certain things and he got mixed up he got mixed messages between the the psychic world because like a lot of people who are um mentally ill like delusional who have schizophrenia they might be also have psychic abilities as well you know what i mean like their third eye is open <clears throat> it could be he mixed everything up and he was confused in his life This is your path. New beginnings. Let's see. New beginnings and new beginnings. And and family. A B C D F G H I J K M N L M L M and new beginnings ninety eight. <clears throat> 98. A brand new chapter in your life. You already notice challenges or even breakdowns in relationships that have always been familiar to you, both at work and in situation, turning point in his life. I feel like he might have had all these issues and was having these relationship problems, but he went totally nuts. He threw caution into the wind. Trust, T, trust. One second, T, trust. Trust, 122. Trust. There's a lot of chaos at the time. Hmm. Excuse me. <clears throat> he had trust issues, I'm guessing. I feel like he had all these like psychic abilities and all these positive attributes to his personality. You know? <clears throat> I feel like that's what I was trying to say but he kind of got a little bit delusional, you know? Um, so, what went through his head on the day of the murders? Why did he kill, what was his reason for killing them? Tell me the story, like, if he killed them, what went on? Give me a story. What happened with the guy? What happened with the girls? Um, I feel like it's telling me, it's giving me more information than I even asked for. You know what I mean? Like, let's see, five of cups, rejection, heartbreak. Those three girls heard him. The devil s stuck in repetitive, unhealthy patterns. This, the world, incompletion, failure. He, he failed to get get back together with somebody. Somebody broke his heart, two of cups reversed, ace of cups reversed. Hold on, two of cups reversed, imbalanced relationship, miscommunications. <clears throat> he has difficulty relating to these people. You know, they rejected him, broke his heart, threw it off swords. Yeah, he felt betrayed, let down, the devil. He had the devil in him. He has unhealthy personalities. He could have freed himself from that, but he chose not to. He had miscommunications, ace of cups, uh, emotional loss. He was ignoring his intuition. Ten of pentacles. Money, family inheritance. Knight of Wands reversed. He has anger problems. Anger, anger problems. Two of Swords reversed. Moment of clarity. Two of Swords. Lesser of two evils. They were giving him the, the silent treatment and he was trying to force them to communicate with him. I'm pretty sure that if they look in the phones of the um, diseased, the victims, 
you'll find him trying to communicate with them. Um, he has anger problems. I'm not sure what he's trying to tell me with the Ten of Pentacles here. <clears throat> I feel like he had everything, you know what I mean? He just has problems communicating. Seeing the reward for your efforts, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands, frustration, delays. He was very frustrated, delays. There, he was being ignored, Three of Wands. Thinking small, disconnected from his intuition and emotional blocks. He had emotional blockages. Um, the sun, it talks about some sort of going through some sort of darkness, sun reversed. <coughs> then with a painful truth, it was some sort of painful truth that he was seeing. Temperance reversed. Frustration, impatience, um, ten of wands, tower crashing moment, feeling imprisoned, trapped, feeling like um, having some sort of rude awakening, the tower, six of wands, desire to succeed, seven, seven of wands, needing to defend himself, and second temperance, imbalance, endings of delays, no patience, I feel like it was an impulsive, um, he had these impulses in him all this while and he decided to act on it because of the miscommunication, the heartbreak, and um, <clears throat> him not being able to, you know, with his emotions, being blocked in his emotions, 10 of wands, putting the responsibility, feeling like the world is on your shoulders. needing to end the cycle, the cycle of, of suffering, 10 of wands, 10 of wands, overburden, heavy energy. He feels like, I feel like he, he ended this. He did what he did because he couldn't take the rejection any longer. Um, let's see what else I has to say. Magician, justice. The magician mastering himself in the material world. It was kind of like he wanted to gain control and, and mastery over these people because he felt like he deserved it. He felt like justice. He wanted to get compensated for all his heartache and for all his rejection. And he was very like, he has a lot of baggage. He was unable to move into another way of thinking. So he decided to come in really quick when they least expect it, Knight of Swords. Go in quick and leave quick. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. He found the courage to go and confront them with his murderous intentions. He has a nervous disorder. He has problems with um, his nervous, his nerves. Page of Cups. It boils down to his infertility. Page of Cups and the Empress reversed. Unable to conceive, unable to grow. Also with the communication, you know. Um, let's see, the Hermit. Feeling isolated, lonely, going within yourself. Feeling stabbed in the back. Seven of Swords reversed. Lying seat. <clears throat> the women, he felt they were selfish attention whores and they wouldn't give him what he wanted. Queen of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Queen. Attention are mean. He thought they were mean and he didn't trust them. Five of Pentacles. Reverse. Recovery. He took his time. He took his, his time you know, recovering from the rejection. I feel like he did what he did because he felt like that was his only way to move on with his life, because he was so stuck on it. Yeah. He thought by killing them, the death card, it would put an end to his misery and help him with closure, help him move on, you know, bringing a change to his life. Women's parties, jealousy. 
he felt trapped and confused and lack of clarity with all his baggage. This guy has a lot of issues. I feel like he also has mother issues with his mother. Mommy issues. Five of Wands reversed. He tried to see with different perspective, but he was exhausted with his page of wands, page of swords. He was exhausted because of his um he was scatterbrained, thinking manipulative, uncomfortable in his own skin, confused about his life. It's like he was kind of going like through like a midlife crisis, but but he's only in his twenties. <laughs> the hangman reversed. He felt like okay, now is the time to act. I need to get this over with. I need to do. I need to do. Because <laughs> he felt stuck. Eight of Wands reversed. Unable to advance. Nine of Pentacles. Single card. He wanted to dominate and control and. Again, we have Seven of Cups reversed, which talks about um, looking for clarity in his life, but still having these problems with addiction. He, he did it on impulse. Not to say that he wasn't thinking about doing it, you know what I mean? But he felt like, oh, no, it's the time to act. I must do this to change my life. And he changed his life, he did. Page of Pentacles reversed. Communication, having problems, communicating, thinking small, the chariot reversed. Something to do with the broken car. Delays, obstacles, obstacles, delays. Chariot, four of pentacles reversed. Holding on to people, being stingy. <clears throat> I wonder if he had a broken down car at the time and he didn't have the money for it. Something to do with money. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Let's see. Laziness. Second guessing, slow progress. He's like a perfectionist. The moon, mysteries, deception. Secrets stuck in patterns. I wouldn't be surprised if he had obsessive compulsive disorder. Worry, can't sleep. I would bet he probably this was keeping him up all night, every night. You know what I mean? King of Pentacles, very materialistic man. He's a man in his life who's, I feel like it might be a father figure. King of Pentacles. Right, someone who's very materialistic and wants from him, has expectations for him, but somebody who's also um, a protector. And the Hierophant reverse talks about rebelliousness, rejecting dis rejecting tradition, feeling despair, you know? Uh, Ace of Wands. Reverse, bored, uninspired. Six of Cups. The love card, the soulmate card, six of cups. He's a bit narcissistic, you know? As much as he was willing to love, it was more about himself. You know, this was all about his own self-love. Nine of wands. Now he's thinking, okay, I did the job. Now what? What am I going to do now? He fulfilled his dreams. Judgment. Now he's going to be judged. He's going to get, um, he's aware now he's in trouble. Judgment. New awareness. Seeing from a different view. I feel like now he realizes what he's done, you know? But he felt like he had to do it for his happiness. Four of Cups reversed. The lovers. I feel like all he ever wanted was love, you know, but the women, they rejected him. Queen of Cups, the first. <clears throat> Insecurity, dependence, on no emotional boundaries. He didn't have um, boundaries with women. He didn't have the boundaries. In his mind, I believe he really felt like 
he wanted to love and he had the love to give and he just didn't want to walk away from it. And because of all that frustration, he kind of went mad and he has his temper, his anger, his fire. <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Upright, Knight of Cups. Upright, Knight of Cups. Let's see. Also, things come towards you. Yeah, self love, narcissism. He loves himself more than anything. Knight of Cups. I was wondering, like, okay, usually Knight of Cups means, like, oh, they have emotional investment for other people, you know? It could be a mixture of things. King of Cups as well, you know? King of Cups. Somebody who wants to love, you know? A health issues, stomach, digestive system. I'm surprised if he has, like, a little belly, you know? Um, some sort of genetic illness as well. <laughs> He had, he had the, the capabilities, you know? If he would have just gotten himself in line, you know what I mean? And gotten healthy emotionally and physically, he wouldn't have done all this, I don't think. But he, he does have narcissism, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords. He feels like he has, he hates women, like Queen of Swords. He feels like they're mean, cold, and cruel. And I wouldn't be surprised if he has mommy issues, like with his mother. And, um... It talks about somebody who, two of pentacles, who feels emotionally overloaded and needing to balance all, balance all his emotions. <clears throat> two of pentacles. Emotional roller coaster. And he was going through some sort of financial stress as well at the time. I feel like that ties in with the ten of pentacles, which talks about like family inheritance and money. I feel like perhaps his family was not helping him with money, even though they're well off. You know what I mean? Talks about family inheritance, you know. Um, Ace of Pentacles. Where does that tie in? Ace of Pentacles? Where does that tie in? Five of Swords, reversed. Fighting about money. Fighting about money. Ace of Pentacles. He needed to take supplements. He needed. He's, he's malnutritioned. Um, self starters employer specialist. He was expecting money from his um, from somebody. He was expecting a promotion of some sort from his family. I'm guessing. He was expecting money from some sort of new chapter in his life. I feel like he was going through some financial struggles. Five of Swords reversed. Forgiveness, grudge, resentment. He had resentment against somebody. His father, King of Swords. Yeah. He had problems with his father, with money. His parents wouldn't give him money. And he hates women. He has problems with with, uh, with women. He thinks women are cruel and the root of all evil for him and his life. I think he does have mommy issues and daddy issues. Three of Pentacles, lack of collaboration. No one was willing to work with him for some reason because I think they don't trust him for some reason. He felt like, oh, there's nowhere to go. Things can't get any worse, you know? He was expecting an inevitable end to his life as he saw it. He couldn't take the pain anymore of... He felt hopeless, you know? And um, I guess that's why he did what he did. Again, Queen of Pentacles reversed. The women in his life are the root of all evil for him. Self-centered, jealousy, strength, sickness, failure. He feels like he failed with the women. Yeah, strength. this Queen of Pentacles reversed, strength. He failed with his mother, he failed with women. Um, he thinks women are lazy and nasty, Ace of Swords. It caused him brutality. That's why he went crazy. Brutality and chaos. Ace of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords. Confusion, brutality, chaos, misunderstanding, lies, communication. It all has to do with him being not honest a lot of the time. Nobody trusting him. Women not trusting him. His trouble with women, with people, with money. I guess that's why I feel like in his family, 
his family business, I feel like they were, weren't willing to, to work with him because they didn't trust him. And um, <clears throat> he has this in him to be very violent, Ace of Swords. And um, his lack of control in his life, in his family life, Two of Wands, and a desire to gain control over other people, to dominate the situation in other people, to dominate his family, to get stability. He thought if he could dominate other people, it would bring back his um, control and his routine into his life somehow, Four of Wands. But now his family is completely broken, Ten of Cups reversed. So that's how I see it. I think um, he's probably guilty of the crime because of all, all these cards, what I see. You know, I may be wrong, but uh, that's all I have for you right now. Okay, take care. And...